Hi everyone, this is Alberto Chavez. Welcome to this new video tutorial. This is, well, actually, it's not new, this is actually the next step on modeling Optimus Prime Power Master. Um, I, last time we we were done with the chest and the crotch, so now we are going to move on to the legs. Legs are kind of I don't always call them complicated, but uh, they are a very interesting part to model since they are, as you can see, they have kind of a, some details that, as a matter of fact, uh, we have not uh, exactly the way we want, at least not the way I want it, but we will do our best. And um, the first thing, we're going to start from the very um, from the same mesh we were working on which is if you remember this um, this mesh is a single um, square and we will continue with this part of well the, the, the last part of the hip which is the beginning of the leg so we will select this face here the last face well actually the last uh, face on the hip this is the, obviously this part of the crotch, but we will work here with the uh, with the leg. And as you can see here, this um, image there is a little um, inset uh, for the leg, so we can um, extrude it uh, over the y. Uh, sorry, the z axis. So we will actually create that inset here. Um, so let me call my key monitor. Remember, here is um, the keys I'm, I'm pressing and the buttons of the mouse or the mouse wheel itself. Okay, I that creates the inset, which will be just like this. Remember, we are creating this most likely from an eye point of view. <laughs> It's not like exact um, exact measurements. <coughs> we will return at the end of this um, series to the part of the waist here, since as you can see, this is a very thin waist, waist, and this is not. So, but this will be later. Right now, we select this face here, and we press E to extrude over the set axis just like this, as you can see here. We will do maybe just like this. Obviously we will need to uh, move this in the um, x-axis, so we click on the arrow that corresponds to um, the x-axis, which is the red one, and we press, we push, actually, not press, but push. Um, Besides, since uh, as you can see, the bottom of the mm, the legs we have sort of an angle here, and we don't want that angle, so we will do S Z zero enter. As simple as that. We will um, we just all what we did is um, we could say that we reset the. Um, the set axis, or actually the, the escalation, the set axis for that part exclusively for this phase, which is exactly what we want. Next, um, we could we could work on the same um, same mesh. We will do that, but please keep in mind that besides if you would want you could work also with a different um, object which could which could be a cube of course so you can model this blue part of the legs okay again again it, this is completely up to you um, and besides it has to do with what you want your model for. If you are uh, looking for maybe a 3D printing, that's another business. 
and and I want to make this very clear. Um, I had a, we've been modeling this just for computer. We are not thinking on 3D printing. Okay, keep this in mind because. Um, for 3D printing, we need to fix many issues uh, with this model that we will not do just because we are not. I am not thinking about um, the 3D printing this. Okay, but uh, probably in the future we will see how to um, make the arrangements for the 3D printing, but not right now. That's for sure. Not right now. Okay. Now here, as you can see, the whole mesh has a very, very bad, um, not the whole mesh, but from a hip and down has a very, very bad shape. We will try to correct like right away. As you can see, this is very um, wide. So, S Y, we will do something like this. Remember, um, we are trying to to keep proportions uh, well measured as possible. So that's the whole purpose for this. I'm seeing. Oops. As X, so I will make this a little bit thinner, and I will no, maybe like this, something like that. I don't know. I'm not sure of the position of this since the image is not like as accurate as I would like. Okay, let's continue with the with the legs. And now, um, as you can see, there's a little cut here, and let's say getting close to the knee the leg turns um, thinner so that being said I will select this and make something like a cut right there because um, you know apparently that's what it's needed and besides I will uh, select these guys here. Maybe the inset I created was not was too too thick. Okay, better. There we go. Um, probably I will do something like that, just a little bit. Um, the outer edge of the knee. Well, no, not the. Oh, well, yeah, the knee. <laughs> so now I will select this for um, edges, the whole face, as you can see. And I will do E S. Um, wait a minute. Oh, wait. Uh, actually, E and set axis, and now. I just extruded it a little bit and now press S. So I can do this. Mm. Okay. So you can see here this part, the back part of the leg has some shapes that we will take care of once we do E again and we send it like that mm, a little bit more just like that and I will scale it so you know at the this part of the leg seems a little bit more powerful uh, like you know supporting the whole weight of that big robot there I guess it, that's that's why it needs to be uh, a little bit uh, thicker and, and wider and uh, that's not muzzle but we could call it like that just because ok 
can think in another any other name for it. Control R, so I can insert an edge loop and slide it just a little bit up. Select this edge uh, and push it on the Y axis. Now we will try to take care about these shapes here. I don't have a back image for this, but you know, we can think about the way it should be. So we'll insert another edge loop like here, another actually no. That's good enough. Now let's select this face here and let's extrude it just a little bit. And it, as you can see, it's going downwards. So all what we need to do is push it downwards, which means the set axis, and rotate it just mm, maybe not. Maybe we do not need to rotate it. As you can see, uh, this back part, if I'm not mistaken, has um, a wheel. So right here, this rounded shape that we are not able to see perfectly, it's um, a wheel. So we will leave it just like that. Uh, and uh, we will select that edge and push it a little bit on the y-axis since we don't need it that um, outside of let's say the boundaries I have thought for the rabbi alright just like this and now um, you know, this edge here I might do this something like that okay as you can see uh, it has like a depression here um, which gives it um, the idea of uh, a real knee so all we need to do is create uh, two edge loops control R and a little twist to mouse wheel as you can see here see when I press the mouse wheel it will turn another color right here see well actually it's an arrow it's not a different color before it was an arrow but now it's a different color so now um, face selection this one and need this one I will extrude it but first I will um, activate or enable a um, proportional editing with the O key and now E to extrude uh, maybe I don't need to extrude it and indeed I don't let's decrease the scope for proportional editing mm. yeah, I know what I'm gonna do now Okay. I will need to create another two edge loops for each side, like this and like this. Now I will get rid of proportional editing, make a face selection. Now we're talking. Okay, just like that. You see, it's not complicated at all. Now this edge here I will push it on the Y axis so it makes it a little bit more believable uh, at least if we compare it to to the image there just like that okay uh, these parts here are just the way we created this they are just a bunch of um, edge loops as you can see yeah it's done there and besides I will select all of this 
patches push them just like that um, remember we're just modeling um, the legs the feet will be pr later or I don't know maybe next tutorial I'm not sure but something like that okay now more edge loops face selection and I will insert another one just there uh, let's see one two three four one two three four five oops maybe it was a little too much so three here why am I adding just that little um, amount of edge loops because I will do again just something like mm, I'll add another couple of them just here one last one here and another one here I said last one and actually it was not the, the last one but hey you know <laughs> you know what's the funny part that it was not for that part of the name it was for this part here ah shame on me okay the top one and the bottom one now one two three four just like that and face selection if you want to make um, a selection with your mouse you can press the C key press the left button and select when you're done just press escape and that's it cool huh right just a little bit mm, I better extrude it on the y-axis just like that and now uh, so you can make this little holes there I will add some more edge loops just here we'll go one by one so I don't get crazy with all of the edge loops so extrude on the y-axis do that with this one here extrude again with uh, the next one wait right here extrude it next right there and extrude it maybe one two three yeah I'm missing one just like that face selection extruded and there you have it um, of course we need to work in colors and one more thing these two edges here you can escalate them as X so they you know they look a little bit better just there let me select all of these edges and there okay now the color of course we will do the same color as helmet and the crotch so I will press A to deselect everything press B to box select just like that 
make sure everything is selected if you want to select the whole thing remember to press this button here so you can see uh, through the through the mesh and do something like this as you can see the whole leg or the, the bottom part has been selected and we go to materials we select um, helmet and assign the material just like that the last thing we're going to do today deselect okay click there face selection and since this thing has a very um i don't know i don't like yellow to be sincere but it's not a matter of liking right it has yellow so come on add the yellow one so we click on new say just yellow and since you know helmet is you as you can remember it's glossy this yellow will be of course glossy since it's um, we're talking about metal so maybe a very very strong yellow and we will assign it okay oh uh, roughness remember we got point one of roughness and finally this metal red I already have a metal red so just assign it okay right um, oh one more thing this part which I could say it's the real me we can just make it from here and extrude it on the set axis just like this and at the end of the day you just make it fit just like that and maybe select this whole thing there and scale it on the x-axis as x just like that now as you can see this part uh, it has a little free part from here so let's undo the whole thing including the extrusion and add another loop we're getting crazy with edge loops right now but that's okay I mean uh, it's something we need to do and we will do what we need to do just like this and make it match with the pack back part of the leg maybe a little bit up just like that and the basement of this uh, it's x it's a little bit wider so right that is what we have up to now and since as you can see it's getting taller and it's not good to keep on getting far and far and far away I'm talking about the camera doing this because then you will um, like stop seeing it in some part um, when you getting get close what we are going to do is just change this um, specifications here just like flip them and let me grab this with the G key just like that and um, that's it for this week I will place the render of course um, so you can see it on the blog which is Diseño Libre that's um, Aguarmala2 two, 2 with numbers dot blogspot dot com besides if you want the blank file you can download it from the blog um, and you can you know continue with the modeling 
just if you're kind of impatient you want to wait for another week um, you can just download the blend file and keep on going with with your own work which would be actually great um, thank you very much for following this um, tutorials this series of tutorials um, thank you uh, th this uh, English tutorials have has had have had <laughs> a very good response so um, I hope you like it and I hope more than you like it that it's being useful for you we will see you next we will see uh, each other next week and um, we will finish with feet and start with arms so you know it's getting uh, it's taking more and more shape so thank you uh, remember to follow um, Twitter it would be Aguatemala that's the name of the account Aguatemala so you can see some updates on some other projects I'm working on thank you very much this is Alberto Chavez see you next week until then may free and open software have a long long life